hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is a step-by-step -step process on how i made the shirt so first of all we've cut out our back piece now as you can see just like so we added half an inch allowances and then we stopped at that point right there because the back piece are two pieces divided into two okay one piece divided into two rather so we also cut the allowance for the front piece on the back piece as well so this is the upper part of the back piece now as you can see this is how we cut it guys you can see here on this picture that's how we cut it we did not start from the allowance instead we started from the initial start of the measurements okay as you can see we just added half an inch allowance as well on all sides so as to join it and we cut two pieces for the upper part of the back two pieces okay guys so guys this is the front piece now remember we added allowances for the button of the shirt and that is the neck so we already went ahead to cut out the neck you have to be careful so as to put it in a wig so you're going to like cut the front piece we know we cut both the front and the back on one pattern so i just placed it in a way that was going to be easy for me to cut out the front piece and here this is the button allowance which is three inches in total folded into one and a half okay guys now this is the sleeve for both pieces both pieces of the sleeve guys we just added half an inch allowance also so you know for the front piece we went down a little bit on the pattern paper so we're going to go a little bit down as well on the fabric like so so you're just gonna go in by a little bit and cut out so that way the front piece is deeper than the back piece as it should be so we're just going to indicate that with a chalk okay so we don't forget now we're going to go back to the back side of the fabric now that's the sleeve and we're going to mark three inches inward okay three inches inward you know it's going to have a cuff the sleeve is going to have a cuff so we need to put it in a way where uh, we're going to be able to put our button and then we're going to go up on that point there by three and a half inches okay just follow what i'm doing right now go up by three and a half inches and then we're going to draw a straight line like so and now we're just going to take our scissors and cut the fabric up to that point this fabrics we're cutting both pieces at once that's the two sleeves at once and it's both sides the right sides are facing each other so we do not cut one part on the front and one part on the back so now this is the this is one part of the back piece so remember we added three inches allowance for our front piece so we're going to do the same thing for the back piece but then not for our button now but we're going to be having we're going to have a design basically on the back piece so it will need us to sew one inch in on that three inches allowance just i hope you guys understand but just like see what i'm doing right here we're just going to take that three inches at this point right here and then we're going to sew it one inch in and then we're simply going to fold it like so and then so we've gone ahead to sew it now by one inch in and this is the front guys this is the front where it is being sewn is the front not the back this is a if it's the back then to be a different design so now we're just going to stitch it all the way like this okay exactly the way you're seeing here now we've gone ahead to do that as you can see now this is the design that we have and now for the upper part of the back piece you know it is two pieces basically so we're just going to be closing that up like this okay we're going to be closing it up so as to um create that modern look so basically the two pieces are going to be facing each other right sides facing right sides with the other piece which is the bigger piece in between both upper pieces of the back now we're going to sew along that edges 
okay we went to have to pin it first and then now we're going to sew all the way and we've gone ahead to do that as well here as you can see folding it now is going to come out like this now we just need to iron and pin that point together so now for the front piece we're just going to add our hemming gum so as to make our button part of the front piece so first of all we're just going to calculate how much hemming gum we're going to need and then we're going to fold the edge of the fabric because we're going to be using it to sew okay so we're just going to iron it up first like that with our hemming gum inside and then we went ahead to sew as you can see this is what we have we've done the both pieces of the front piece okay it is stiff like this because there's hemming gum inside okay so yeah this is it now we're just going to add our front pieces now to the back piece so as to attach it all up together like so so now we're just going to right sides facing right sides we're just going to align everything up together so we can sew half an inch all the way guys half an inch all the way guys so as you can see the back side is longer than the front piece and then on the armhole the front piece is way deeper than the back piece so now we're just going to sew half an inch in all the way and then for the other side as well our line is up and then half an inch all the way so now for our sleeve we're simply going to make something like this this is a bias but it is with the fabric we're just going to fold both sides and then fold it again to create that kind of look so i went ahead to mark with my chuck the front piece of the sleeve so as not to forget okay now we're just going to take our bias now and use it to cover that part we're just going to make sure we sew along the line okay all the way to the other side okay and then we're going to do it for the other part as well now as you can see here we've gone ahead to do that we've gone ahead to do that so now we're just going to be folding it up We're going to be folding it up now like so and then we're going to stitch that corner right there we're going to stitch that corner right there slightly okay so as to have a fine look on the other side which is the front and then we're going to fold one off this part as well and then stitch it up okay now we're gonna have to do everything that i've just said and here we folded one part and then stitched it up like this as you can see and now it is going to be able to close perfectly the other side of the cuff or button part so we also do the same thing for the other side of the sleeve now this is it guys So we're just going to stitch the both sleeves now we're gonna stitch it up half an inch all the way for the other side too so now this is our cuff we went ahead to cut four pieces because because one cuff is going to contain two pieces that is one going to be seven as it's facing or lining so this is it we're just going to sew half an inch all the way around we can also choose to use the pattern paper just to outline the half an inch and then we're going to be folding one of the pieces like so and then we're going to stitch it up to that particular point right there so now we're going ahead to do that we pinned it first so we're just going to remove the pins now and this is what we have all stitched up so yeah we're just going to remove the pins now like so and simply turn it in and out so you can see what we have made okay guys now we're just going to iron it so as to make the lines fine and all of that 
so once i had to do the other side to just iron it make sure you iron it perfectly so it is this defined okay so now for the sleeves and the cuff we're gonna head to stitch it up into close the ends so now we're just going to join the cuff together we've already joined one so i'm just going to show you how we're going to join the second one now so basically guys pay attention this is the front piece we're going to be turning it inside out and this now is the back of the sleeve okay the back of the sleeve so now we're going to take our cuff like so and then take one end of the cuff now one end of the cuff that points right there and then we're going to pin it to one end of the sleeve as well from the inside guys from the inside just like this so i'm going to use our pins now to pin that point together okay exactly the way i'm doing like this so now we're going to take the other side and pin it to the other end as well this way now the cuff is going to be inside of the sleeve if it's not like that then you're probably doing something wrong so it has to be like this guys okay so we're just going to pin it now like so and then for the excess sleeve for the excess sleeve we're basically just going to be folding it this is the excess guys we're just going to be folding it so it fits the sleeve the cuff length rather so now we're just going to sew all the way on that point that is the allowance after folding one part of the cuff okay after yeah that point right there we're just going to sew along that point and make sure you do not sew the other part as well okay so now we're gonna have to sew that part right there sorry for the bad quality guys it's too bright but yeah basically we're just going to after sewing we're gonna trim it off trim the excess that needs to be trimmed off remove our pins and then we're going to flip flip the cuff now as you can see we're just going to flip it and use the other end yeah like i said we're just going to remove the excesses now now we're just going to flip the other parts of the cuff and then we're just going to sew along that edge and then we have our complete sleeve okay guys so now this is it guys So basically we're just going to be joining our sleeves now to our shirt so remember we indicated where our front was going to be by simply using our chalk to mark that out so now we're just going to make sure we align the front to the front of the front of the fabric the bigger fabric rather because we cannot like cuts so the back on the front piece is just going to mess everything up so you have to make sure you align we're going to notch first and then we're just going to align everything together it is important that we measure our armhole again and ensure that it's the same with our sleeve armhole so now guys this is the end result we went ahead to close the edge or the bottom of our shirt as well and then we've already fixed our color here so now thank you guys for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe